Okay, so today in this video, I'm doing something a little bit different than normal. I'm still growing something, except this is centered more towards the people who keep aquariums. And people who keep aquariums sometimes deal with algae. And a lot of times algae is attributed to things that you might find in tap water, such as phosphates, nitrates, heavy metals, things like that. And some people claim that when they use distilled or reverse osmosis water in their aquariums, they have less algae. So this experiment is gonna be about testing different types of water uh, to see if we can grow algae. And I'm doing this in more of a controlled condition. So here on the left, as you can see, I have regular tap water. And here on the next one over, I have filtered tap water. I have a whole house filtration system uh, it goes through a 5 micron filter, then through a large carbon filter, and then a post filter, which is just for uh, larger particles. Um, the tap water that's taken before the filter, so it is chlorinated, and the filter tap water is obviously not chlorinated because the chloramines and chlorine has mostly been absorbed by the fresh carbon that I recently changed the filter and then over here we have distilled water, which I have remineralized with salty shrimp, KHGH+. Uh, that's for keeping shrimp tanks. Uh, I'll throw it up on the screen here so you can see what it looks like. And then over here we just have regular distilled water. All of these containers here are sterile. Uh, these three glass containers have been cleaned. They've been cleaned with uh, star sand and also have been dried out and then put in the oven at 285 degrees for three hours to sterilize them. And then the caps have been uh, soaked in alcohol as well. Over here on the right hand side, this has not, this is just a container that was bought from the store and it has not been cleaned. I just basically dumped out so the water levels were about even in all of these. And I thought it was important to leave a little bit of an airspace because a lot of stuff. Uh, that you can, you can get growing in water uh, it can come just from your air, really, uh, from spores and stuff like that. So I'm leaving an air space in there. I'm also leaving the container here on the left, the tap water, to um, naturally dechlorinate by evaporation. So I'm going to leave all these uncapped for about 24 hours, and I think that's fair since when you fill up a fish tank, the, air, the fish tank's exposed to air, so it's only fair. So I'm gonna leave all those uncapped for 24 hours, recap them, and then they're gonna go inside of my grow tent under uh, a lot of light for however long it takes to see if we can start growing some algae. If that doesn't work, we're gonna go ahead and add um, some nutrients to each one of these, the same amount, to see if we can grow algae that way by putting something into the water. All right, it's been 30 days since I've started this experiment, and that is more than enough time for algae to take hold, especially under this amount of light. However, there's not a single trace of algae growing in any one of these jugs. So that does not necessarily mean there's no algae cells in tap water. That could just mean that there's not enough nutrients in the water for the algae to take hold. So at this time, what we're gonna do is add one milliliter in each one of these jugs of this planted aquarium fertilizer. And then we're going to come back in another 30 days and see if any algae has taken hold. So basically the two, the two jugs on the left hand side, the tap water, should have algae in them. And the two jugs here on the right hand side, especially the distilled, is basically the control and there shouldn't be any algae growing in those. So we'll come back in 30 days and see what happens. Okay, it has been another 30 days and I have been adding that fertilizer once per week at one milliliter per container and there is zero growth of algae or diatoms or mold or anything in any, any one of these containers. No growth whatsoever. The water is a little bit cloudy from adding the fertilizer, but other than that, they are perfectly clean, and I've actually opened each one of these containers and smelled the air inside, and this air even smells pretty sterile. There's, there's no odor to it whatsoever. Uh, so what does this really say? Well, this only really answers a question for myself and maybe for some other people because all this is really telling me is that there's no algae in my tap water. So this experiment is very conclusive. There is another side to this experiment though that I'm gonna be doing and that is basically doing the exact same thing except I'm not gonna be adding nutrients to the water. I'm gonna be taking algae from my fish tank and I'm gonna be infusing it into water and I'm gonna be putting the exact same amount of that water in each one of the containers 
and we can see, and we'll see if we can get the algae to take hold without adding any nutrients and see if the tap water has enough uh, minerals and nutrients in there for the algae to grow and we'll see what that looks like compared to distilled water so stay tuned for that uh, thanks for watching please subscribe if you want to see that video coming up probably in an, uh, another 30 or 60 days we'll see you later